welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at holding power permanently using temporary inputs. Our example is going to be wooden doors, but clearly you'd want to use something like this for iron doors or pistons or any other thing you want to activate permanently, but using a temporary input such as a pressure plate or a button. Since switches are not something that you can have animals and mobs step on, or people step on for that matter. So the first example we have here is a simple door and you can place a switch on either side but you can't really activate one unless the other is deactivated. So you can use the overly simple method and just place a switch on top Oops. so that you can activate it on both sides or you can go with my overly complicated method because that method leaves a hole near your head and that is not good sometimes so we can just bring our power around an inverter plug it into another inverter and bring its power around into this block. So when this one is powered by that, the torch is off, the redstone's off, this torch is on, the redstone's on, and this torch is off. And we can just plug inputs into either side so that whenever we add power to this side, the power's on here, meaning this torch is off, meaning the redstone's off, this torch is on, the power's on, etc. And it just loops. So we can do it on either side and save a value permanently on or off. So what we can do is plug this into some temporary inputs. So here we'll set up a door. It's just an example. You can use whatever you want. Iron door, pistons, Now that we have a frame, we just throw that in, take some buttons, put them on either side. We have to leave a space here so that our open button doesn't, or our close button doesn't open the door. Drag the power around this side, plug it into this, drag the power from the other button, and plug it into the other side, the other input out output area and then we just plug it into a block that's by the door and that can activate the door. So now whenever we flip this switch power is transferred into this side, power is turned off on this side and the button remains open. And when we flip the other switch power is transferred to this side, off on this side and the button remains closed you can take this and make it so that the button simply lasts longer by drawing power from one side the open side and throwing it into the closed side with some delayers so that you get it opened and closed with one button press but it's simply delayed more than its default but that's for permanent uses here I've set up my frame so that I can keep the video a bit shorter this time but it's the same function and we can throw our buttons down except this time the rules have been reversed and we just bring the power down <coughs> and bring power up from this side and plug it into either button and then we just need to take some pistons and place them at our <clears throat> at our output for our wires. Then we throw some dirt there. Take our switch. You can use a torch instead of a switch, but I like to use a switch to keep it on and just shut it off whenever I need. Plug it into a block and throw a torch so that it's inverted. That way, as long as the switch is on, that torch will be off, and thus the door will, will remain closed. 
And what's going to happen is if we press this switch, the power is going to come down through this wire, push this block, and cover up this wire. It can't break any wire because this is down below it, and this is to the side of it, but it can short circuit the wire. And when this wire comes down from the other side, it plugs into the back of this piston, pushes the block back, and returns it to its previous powered state. So that way we can open and close the door by short circuiting the wire, and thus turning this torch from its default state to its not so default state. So when we flick this button, power transfers into this, which pushes the block and short circuits that wire and keeps this torch on. And when we push this button, it pushes the block back, returns the wire to its state of on, and turns the torch off. That way we have a permanent close with a not so permanent input. Pretty simple, as I said, you can apply it to anything you want. Wooden doors are clearly not the thing you want to do it with, since you could just open. But for example purposes it works. You can do it with um, pistons, as I've said, you can make your doors uh, a lot bigger than this, maybe three by three, three by two, whatever you want, and just apply the same concept to it instead of, you know, having a switch that only opens one door, you could have this system that will open up anything with the press of a button. And from either side too, because you can put a, a button there, button here, and it will perform the same task. And if you want to cover up your wire, you can place glass because glass is transparent, just like pistons. Pistons cannot short circuit wires because they are transparent, but they can push the blocks that do short circuit wires, very similar to the way that you use pistons to make light switches. So, see you next time.